Welcome back to the final of the three-part series on the complete Linux Mint install guide tutorial from Total OS Today. Well, welcome back everybody. This is, like I said, part three of the three-part series for Windows users who are trying to install Linux Mint as a dual boot or maybe as a replacement to your current uh, Linux or Windows operating system desktop or laptop. Now if you haven't please take a look at part one and two. On my website I have posted part two. Out of the three this is probably the most important one. This goes into it more in depth on the installation guide and how to safely install Linux Mint alongside your Windows operating system. So if you haven't already, please take a look at least at this. This is on totalostoday.blogspot.com. Okay, well, when you reboot and boot into Linux Mint, you will come to something like this. Now, the background here of the of space and the galaxy here, uh, this will not be the default desktop wallpaper. However, this welcome screen, the Welcome to Linux Mint, should pop up. And this is, if you are new to Linux Mint, this is extremely important. This will give you a quick start guide as to your brand new operating system, which of course would be Linux Mint. Now, as you see here, it says Welcome to Linux Mint. And in this case, it is the release 10 Julia named genome gnome or gnome 64-bit edition and it says welcome and thank you for choosing Linux Mint we hope you'll enjoy using it as much as we did designing it so on and so forth and as you see here it has documentation submenu support project community here at the bottom you can click show this dialog at startup uh, I would until you are uh, quite familiar with Linux Mint and of course here you can close and now the panel bar that you see on the top is usually at the bottom I just moved it to the top basically what you do here just to show you, you go here move the mouse cursor to the top right click properties and here on the orientation you have your choice of top bottom left or right I chose top leave it there you can change the size of the pixels or the size of the panel bar and of course, if you want to expand it, auto hide it. Uh, show hide buttons, expand, and of course, uh, auto hide. All right, let me close this out here. Since I have this up, let's take a quick look at here at, at this. Uh, let's go to documentation, click new features, and this will go to the Linux Mint com website what's new and it says here new features of course in Linux Mint 10 Linux Mint comes with updated software and brings refinements and new features to make your desktop even more comfortable to use now I won't go through everything here you should take a look at this at your leisure and it has some nice screenshots here to welcome you to Linux Mint alright next up here will be known problems release notes for Linux Mint 10. Here there is an official Linux Mint user guide in PDF form that you can download and save. Uh, this is probably a good idea. This is going to give you more of an expanded written guide of what I just of what I'm showing you here. Um, I I have briefly taken a look at this and as an English major I can say this it looks like it's very well written you do not need to be a geek or computer wizard to read and understand this the next menu and sub menu here on the column is support you have tutorials you click that this will get you to the Linux Mint community and you can browse tutorials here Next up will be the forums. Okay, and you can look for help here besides, of course, uh, my YouTube channel or my website. The Linux Mint community, by the, by the way, has been very, very helpful and very friendly, at least to me. You have your chat room, which I very seldom use. I, 
I, I barely have time to uh, do these videos, run the site, and spend time with my family. Uh, next, stop, uh, next stop here, the next column is the project. I won't go through all of these, but you have sponsors, donations, get involved, community, idea pool. Let me uh, click uh, software reviews, and of course, the next thing here is the, har uh, here is the hardware database. But let me cl click software reviews. And this will bring up the assorted software packages, which are usually installed by default in Linux Mint. Okay, so here is the, again, as I said, the Welcome to Linux Mint welcome screen. Again, very important. Okay, so the next thing I want to take a look at here would probably be the Update Manager. Now, if you are new to this, you can just click Menu here and this will give you what's called the mint menu and you can change how this looks by clicking right here at the top right between favorites and applications now this should come up by default after you install it okay so here I have the uh, favorites as far as the uh, updater if you go here this is similar to the Windows search bar and just type in update it'll bring you to the update manager your password that you used and hopefully saved click OK and at least for my computer this will bring up all of the recommended and available updates for my particular computer and as you can see here there's not much about 60 megabytes it's not much because I did a up update not too long ago however for your, mach for your machine you may see updates of 60 megabytes 100 maybe 200 it's not that unusual. You should download all the updates immediately after installing Linux Mint before you do anything else. If you don't, you may run into a problem. Okay, so always check the update manager before going full force into Linux Mint 10. Okay, so we've looked at the welcome screen here which you should go and browse through this at your leisure next will be the update manager here and by the way as far as the update manager here at the top this is little thing here that looks like a shield and this normally pops up automatically to let you know that there are that there are updates uh, which you can install for your new Linux Mint operating system okay so we have the welcome screen and the updates probably the third uh, most important thing I can recommend to a Windows user trying Linux Mint is to look at the software manager package manager let's take a look quickly at the package manager this is called the synaptic package manager without getting too complicated this is a bank a repository a hardware store of software if you will this is where you go to check and find a lot of mostly free software that you can download and install for your Linux Mint operating system now it has categories here if you click all it'll give you all this will here if you click broken it'll give highlight broken downloaded packages community maintain uh, this here when it says community main, maintain and by the way this is also what's default installed this is usually going to be the safest type of software installed on your Linux Mint 10 operating system uh, marked changes which I haven't marked anything to download here it has missing recommends and this is probably some of the updates that I have not installed yet and so on and so forth you can browse through this at your leisure here we have the sections they go by uh, amateur radio communication now, this is an alphabetical order we have status and here you can browse through for example if I click highlight installed upgradable this is what I have installed currently that's telling me right now that this was this is what is upgradable immediately if I so choose to and you have here at the bottom the origin the custom filters search results 
let's see let's go back to sections let's say I was looking for a particular piece of software let's try um, let's let me hit Google or type in Google Chrome see what happens okay if I was looking for the uh, Google Chrome web browser that was not installed it would come up here now as you can see here it has a little green box here that means that it is already installed and currently there is not an upgrade for it so when I click right click I don't know if you can see this but it has unmark mark for installation mark for reinstallation mark for upgrade removal mark for complete removal if this was highlighted in white mark for upgrade that would tell me of course that there is an upgrade for my Google Chrome piece of software but right now there is not but that's that's how you would use the search bar to search for a particular piece of software if you go here at the top you have your file that you can check edit uh, let's see package settings and help let me uh, let's see how simple can I keep this for Windows users let me go to repositories now here if you go to other software here you can add or delete repositories if you so choose to um, if you are brand new to this I would probably leave this as it is and don't touch anything yet till you are familiar with using Linux Mint but I'm just giving you a, a brief uh, how can I say the Sunday drive I drive in the country if you will just to let you sightsee of what is installed on your computer well speaking of software and how to download software probably the easiest way to download software is go to the uh, menu click menu go to the software manager and this is probably going to be easier in terms of finding specific software for your computer and as you can see here it goes by categories this again is the software manager you do have a search bar here to the top right featured accessories excuse me featured accessories education games graphics internet office science so on and so forth but let's say you are looking for something pertaining to sound and video okay well click sound and video and this will give you the available pieces of software for Linux Mint under the category of sound and video I mean it's 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 really that simple if, if you're looking for sound and video you can just click here and highlight a piece of software this for example is one of the premier if you like to call it that uh, media players for Linux called Banshee and it says here Banshee is a media management and playback application for the genome desktop allowing users to import audio from CD search their library create create playlists of selections of their library sync music so on and so forth it has some nice user reviews it looks like this has been reviewed highly alright so let's install this I will click install type in your password to authenticate it and I have a progress bar here at the bottom as you can see going by the percentage again similar to what you would see probably in Windows 7 obviously the speed of the download or the install depends on the speed of your internet alright this is almost done you can see here right here it has a score of 86 and I have used Banshee, Banshee lately it seems like it's a pretty nice piece of media playing software okay Banshee now has been installed so I can click X and if I wanted to find Banshee and you're not sure where to look back down here at the search bar type in B-A-N and if you go so to that's the right it. this top. is how you would play your new Banshee media player or play music in your new Banshee media player 
as far as getting around the desktop itself and by the way when I X'd out Banshee it says here that Banshee is still running this little icon here so I will just right click quit and there you go as far as the desktop itself right click like Windows you can change the desktop background uh, fonts the visuals uh, visual effects and the theme and this you may want to exp um, experiment what is your favorite I don't want to drag this review or this tutorial on too long ultimately for a Windows user coming new to Linux I mean, you will have to just really play with this and just get used to it and run it how you like it as far as installing or uninstalling if you go click menu here uh, you can um, click again between favorites and all applications these will be in alphabetical order this might be easier for you if you recall we installed uh, Banshee which is a video or a media player slash video player and of course if I go here if I just highlight sound and video again it's in alphabetical order it'll go from the B's all the way down so again a Banshee media player and there's some other default um, software that is pre-installed I added some extra stuff here well I think I'll leave it at that uh, I think you should experiment with this uh, play with it immediately after installing it um, if if something goes wrong whatever you break something and it's not right you can reboot uh, and go and highlight the recovery mode there will be a listing such as Linux Mint and then below that I believe it'll say recovery mode if you highlight that it will download the updates or any updates available uh, that are available and then hopefully fix what is broken to get your desktop running at 100 uh, percent I've used that several times to help me out when something went wrong and I didn't know really what went, what went wrong but try that and see what happens other than that uh, you know you can click computer and go through your folders here of course mine is toss today I labeled this toss today's home you can right click here and resize the icon and so on and so forth but I think I'll leave it at this so check it out this is Linux Mint 10 Julia there we go nice green color here this is just one of the desktop default desktop backgrounds here it's here it says Linux Mint 9 but this is really 10 trust me let's go to another one let's try something different let's go to that one there we go there's a nice green theme there alright guys I'll leave it at this uh, as always thank you for watching total OS today and as always I will catch you sometime in the future thanks for watching bye